can see the transformation of technology even in a 100-year-old company. So let me share a couple of examples of that. Now, one of the spaces that clearly we're taking elements of what's happening uh, in the public space with things like Facebook, LinkedIn, etc., is this collaboration space. And essentially the way we've used the technology, so we're a SharePoint, uh, we're a SharePoint shop. We've essentially used the technology to connect our 70,000 employees around the world to manage knowledge and to manage expertise. And the way we've done that is really through what we call communities of practice and communities of interest, a pretty recognizable term with how we organize communities within SharePoint in driving value. And kind of our philosophy is here, uh -oh. <laughs> hopefully my uh, dad's son is not dying. Uh, that was bad timing. <laughs> yeah, it's not, a, it's not a sub one, so I think we're good. <laughs> Um, one of the ways we're using that technology or the kind of the philosophy is if the problem has been solved, let's find it in the company. And really good examples of that. I mean, simple things where someone, a manufacturing firm, might have been trying to solve a lean problem or 5S in their office in Searcy, Arkansas. They'll connect with someone from Shanghai, China as part of their community of practice. So, you can see the transformation of those technologies permeating really a generally industrial manufacturer, and that will continue. Maybe one more example, I'll shut up, guys, and turn it over to you. Um, another place where I really see it happening is with the mobile technologies. And we're going to spend, I think, a fair amount of time talking about this over the next hour or so. But we have just launched a pretty sophisticated mobile application for the iOS platform um, into our distribution channel. Of several of Eaton products, about 50% of the volume overall flows through distribution with regards, I guess they won't be pretty bad, um, flows through distribution um, through the, to the aftermarket. So it's repair parts is the way to think about it. So we have thousands of distributors across the globe servicing the aftermarket, servicing large equipment manufacturers, servicing plants, etc. And one of the things we've done is really taken an iPad application that really brings to life our products and put it in the hands of not our salespeople, but our distributors, our partners, our channel partners. And it does things like configure the product, show models of the products, all the specifications, we really have put in the hands of our distribution channel, our partners, a weapon that allows them to sell our products into the end consumer. So it's a pretty sophisticated application um, that we just launched. We had a distributor conference this week that was attended by 3,000 distributors. And that is clearly our most sophisticated attempt at leveraging this mobile technology to deliver value. Lots more of examples. Those are a couple of them where it's happening in a pretty traditional company where you can see the permutation of the new technology.